Thank you, David, for, for putting that up. Again, I think that just gives you a real feel of, of the reach and opportunity within table cricket. Um, I'm just going to put up the presentation. Um, so again, as I mentioned, we're very fortunate today to have Sajid Patel and Imran, both very experienced within the use of table cricket, just to give us a background and exciting the ground. As we've seen it, um, certainly within our reach, it is almost the greatest secret and the biggest opportunity for cricket. The ITC already recognised that more tape ball is played around the world than actually hardball cricket. So, again, the reach from that point is becoming, and we're certainly seeing it within secondary schools now in terms of the ease and access of actually being able to play um, without some of the, the risk and, and group management that's required around that point. So, I'm going to pass over to, to Imran, and Imran's kindly going to go through um, some of the history for us around this great this version of the game that's it's very much time relevant um, to our players. It adapts to the environment that everyone's available to take place. It makes sure that all the players are fully engaged and it's very easy to set up. So, Imran, thanks very much. If you'd just like to give us a bit of your experience and, and history and background with take ball, that'd be great. Well, I'll just unmute you, Imran. Hi, can, can you hear me now? Yes, Imran, thank you. Hi, hi everyone. Um, as like history of the table cricket, uh, first of all, myself, I used to play table back home in in 90s. And since I came here, uh, I started in 2010. We used to play in ESDA, uh, night cricket. And then there's a Waltham Forest Town Hall. We used to play on Greenfield. And in 2016, the first time ever I met with uh, Sajid Bhai, uh, there was a thing, table, tornado, uh, organizing uh, George Monex College. and. Uh, somebody sent me a message. There is a festival going on. So can you can you play? That was the first time when we meet uh, Sajid Bhai and we played uh, that that time with him. And even I didn't know him before. He didn't know me. But now after four years, and most of Londoners, like even outside London, uh, the like the cricket uh, cricket players, they know me very well now. And then 16, and then I think there was another uh, tournament in 17. Uh, 16 I won, 17 we lost, table, and there, there, there was a uh, very good uh, organized by Sajid Bhai once again. And uh, I was keep chasing him, can he organize more and more uh, like this table? Because the most of guys who used to play with me, they was keep chasing me. They, 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 they want to uh, carry on this, 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 uh, this type of cricket, which we used to have in back home. And the credit is uh, to Sajid Bhai, to be honest. And then 18, there was another uh, table uh, festival in Chelmsford Cricket Ground in Essex, and we played. And I think there was, uh, I think there was uh, L24 Channel. I think it was live on that. 
and we really enjoyed that one. Unfortunately, I, I lost, I think, uh, I won 16, 17, 18, and 19. Three years, I lost final. <laughs> and this one, that's what I remember of the history of this. And now, um, if like Sajid Bhai and Dan, they can do uh, something special, like I would like to request them if they can write like a cement wickets and these uh, uh, floodlights uh, festivals, tournaments here. And due to the COVID-19, I think it is ideal like six a site, short format of cricket like T4, T5, it can be arranged uh, after work hours, like everybody is working during the day. For example, now most of people, they have done furlough and they are free. And six a side, I think it's, it's, it's a safe distance game and everybody can play. And there is some short videos, uh, which we have added some pictures, which gives an idea, uh, ideas uh, to the others as well who don't play. Uh, most of, uh, nowadays I can see uh, hardball players, they come and they are practicing table now. And even uh, there's few, I met them personally last week and before last week, they said first time ever they played table and they find it is nice and easy to play because nothing special, easy to bat on. For the safety reason, there's no hazards, to be honest. And everywhere, wherever you want, you can just play. You just need like five, six people around you and you can just, just, just play your cricket table, basically. And the equipment is not expensive. It's like, I can say 25 pound a bat, ball, I think you spend 10 pound and you get like 20 balls, simple. And the tape is 10 pound. Like for example, like 50 pound if you spend, and then you can play whole week, basically. Whole week you can play cricket with like, for example, if you have eight teams. Good. Thanks. Thank you, Matt. Imran, just give us a bit of, I know obviously we've, we've got to stick within CIDCB guidelines, so like you're saying about small groups of six people, but when hopefully those guidelines are, are slightly lifted and we can play a bit more, what, what are the kind of formats that sort of take place within your, your tape ball competitions? And, uh, and most, no, uh, mostly they're organising like six, six hours and four ballers, like two, two, one, one. And there is no restrictions like... Uh, for example, before like Sajid Bhai was organizing, like if, if four bowlers can be used, they cannot bowl in the top, uh, they cannot play at the top four positions. But here it's different, like six, six hours game. And uh, for example, bowler, batsman, all rounder, they can play at any position. And it's uh, the, ball, the four bowlers has to be used in the six hour format, uh, six hour format. And what, what, what is the kind of tapes that you use for, for doing the equipment with, the tape and stuff? It is uh, like white tape normally we use. Uh, I never bought it here, but like whenever somebody comes from back home, I ask my friends and families, like, just send it to me. They send me basically a gift and I never paid. So when I go myself, I just bring it from there. But like, I can provide this one at my cost. No problem. That's, that's not a big deal. And I can even, I can sponsor this uh, for, because this is my passion about the cricket. And uh, I, I can sponsor these balls and uh, tapes for the first time. So at least engage the engage with young community and bring them uh, at one ground and let's 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 enjoy. And and just picking up on the the formats and the other pieces as well. And like you're saying about saying when when you go to a facility, how, how do you adapt the format to, to fit within that facility? Obviously, you've seen on the video quite a few people. It's it's very popular to obviously try and hit the ball as far as possible. So what kind of things do you do within a facility to to adapt it to the games? I remember. For example, the one at Lake Norian when we played there, yeah. uh, when you played there, we, we, you only scored one run if it went behind the stumps and everything was hit in front. Um, what other kind of things have you put in place for like car parks and, and mug areas? So, but when we, when we play in different ground, obviously uh, it, is, it, is a, it is a full ground. It's not like that. Even like if we play in the, uh, play in the car park, if, if the ball goes behind the stems, batsman has to run. So if, 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 for example, they can run two, they can run two, you know? But obviously, Leighton Orient was situation was different because just behind the keeper, there was a, there's a, there was a boundary line, so it hits, and obviously there was only one run for that. So in the car park, it's a different game. For example, if ball goes back, you can run one, two, three. You can you can run as as much as you can. And in in a proper ground, it's obviously it's a, it's a full game as like as like a hardball game basically. It's a, it's a full game. Yeah. And then, and boundaries you, are like six hours, like six hours in table. 80, 19, 100 runs, easy, easy. And it can be chased. Yeah, no, it's certainly been impressive to watch and seeing how people engage. But just 
just be interested, did you, I take you obviously played when you were back in Pakistan as well. What, what was the sort of experience of table cricket back there as you were growing up? Sorry, I, I think I missed that. And what was the experience of like growing up playing table cricket back in Pakistan? So just give me a minute. Bro, give, give me 10 minutes. I'm coming. Give me 10 minutes. I'm coming. Okay, give me 10 minutes. I'm meeting. Just give me 10 minutes. Sorry, actually, my, my staff here. Sorry. No, I appreciate you giving up your time for working, man, but just. Just interested in terms of what your experience of table cricket was when you were growing up, like in Pakistan and stuff. Um, since like my childhood, I, I I have a craze about cricket, honestly. But it's just like uh, that age, and I, I was from a poor family, and you know, I still sometimes cry. I, I, I have love for cricket, and that time, I even could not afford to buy a bat for myself. That is truth. I'm telling you now, and now like. Wherever I go, I think I carry 10 bats in my, my car. Whoever they ask me, I just give it to them to play. No problem, because I can afford now. And uh, uh, this is my love for cricket. And uh, uh, the, in, in early days, we used to like, like for example, if we were going to school uh, and we used to play in the school, uh, come, and, and then we come back home, wherever we find like streets, uh, roads, anywhere, we just like we're finding a way like one hour 30 minutes we can just play cricket anywhere anywhere but luckily here we have cricket grounds we have car parks there's so many facilities but just like uh, we, I, I would like the you to come into the in this and just if you can provide like a cement pitch and like you know there's so many fields green fields there's just basically a need like a 30 yard uh, like a cement pitch basically and then and if anybody can play there Brilliant. Thank, thank you, Imran. That's really insightful information and everything. So just, just moving on to Sajid now. And, and Sajid, do you just give an introduction and ex explanation around how you've, you've taken on through the conversations with Imran to use table cricket for the community? Yeah, um, thank you, Dan. And, uh, and very well said from Imran on the insight he's given us. And it's not a credit from me or Dan, it's a credit from you all. It's a collective effort by everyone. Um, that we are in this position. So, yeah, it was, it was back, the conversation, obviously, you know, with myself, Dan, we had a conversation with our fan as well regarding the, um, let's get, let, you know, there's table cricket, we want to reach out to the community. It's another market that we need to sort of um, capture as well and try and see how we can connect um, cricket with table cricket, social side of things where people play for fun or enjoyment some do take it seriously in in tournaments as well it has a mixture of obviously just tape ball cricketers and a few sort of club or uh, how can i say hardball cricketers playing when we first did our, our festival we did it at, as uh, imran mentioned george monarchs college in august 2016 the, the, the response was unbelievable where george monarchs college made um the, their facilities available uh, at no cost at the time. And I think that's credit to Dan and our fan for making those negotiations possible. And, and then we, all, we worked together in activating that and to see the response. What we saw on that day was we, we probably saw about 80% cricketers who are just tape ball players and the 20% were probably played tape ball and hard ball. So there was a, there, so, so there was a, quite, a, quite, a, quite a big percentage of people just playing tape ball cricket. So uh, what we felt at the time, and obviously that tape ball cricketers were not getting the mainstream sort of, um, how can I say, the eye line of how it was not part of the structure or development plan going forward and an offer like a shop window as Dan has, has showed me that, you know, if we have various different shop windows, we can provide, you know, it gives options to people to approach the, the beautiful game of cricket where we can expat and ball. Um, going forward, obviously, you know, from there, we did various different tournaments in, uh, as I said, in, in Waltham Forest, in Redbridge, in Newham, and obviously in other areas. And we did a road show as well. Uh, there was indoor tournaments, which happened in uh, UEL as well, where the whole launch really took place, where you saw the video of everyone sitting around and seeing a, a screen. That was just a brilliant journey. And it just took off to a whole new level how... I connected with people like Imran who have never known him before the very first time I met him. And, you know, he's, the passion he showed, is not, not only him, there's other people out there who show real passion of the game of cricket through tape ball. And, you know, it's the, these guys have really, you know, it's about 
I don't have the, I didn't have the knowledge of table. The only knowledge of table I had is when I went on holiday to India and see and witnessing table tournaments happening there. So, and I, and I also, before even I started the NCL, when I went on holiday to India, I put on a, in my village, I put on a tape ball tournament for the, for the whole community to come together. And it was just absolutely undescribable feeling on the response that we got, that how people from past and present came together. And it was just something that which was, you know, it was missing, but, it, but, we, but I think we've done well on that. Moving on to tournaments, and obviously Dan, Arfan and Essex really come in, put in on the showcase at the county ground. Now that was a big statement. That was really big to see that at the county ground, you got tape ball cricket being played. Uh, I think uh, some of the players also got involved, Ravi Bapara at the time, and I think others did get involved and had a goal, which is really good. We then obviously there was Leighton Orient as well, another, another iconic venue, football venue, which is activated for cricket, another great statement. And it just, you know, credit to, again, uh, Essex and obviously Leighton Orient, uh, Football club for making it available for us to, for these for these uh, com cricketing communities to experience something like this at an, an iconic venue like that. So you had two iconic venues like the the County Ground and Leighton Orient, and you know the, it, it's just completely grown. I mean, lots of players playing on NTPs, so that's coming good use in a way. Uh, in car parks, in the industrial estates, uh, table cricket is really has come to a rise and. And obviously, we just con we wanted to continue the great work on how we could do this. And it's just, as I said, I, th I think Dan would probably agree that for us, for the community to lead on this, we've learned a lot about table cricket. And, and we're not saying we we don't we know everything. We're still learning, like everyone else. And it's just great to see that having table cricket now, as, as Dan mentioned, the ICC talking about it, uh, you know, the national boards talking about it. That just shows the movement of table cricket and cricket in general of, you know, when we have other sports have adaptations of different versions to suit different audiences or different timelines or different formats. It's great to see cricket also doing the, moving on in that similar direction where it's very multidimensional. And that's the main thing that this beautiful game can only grow from here. That's brilliant. Thank you, Sajid. Just, just interesting picking up from your point. How, how have you um, found the conversations when you've gone to, like, say, non-cricket environments or, or people to in, use table cricket to engage new people into playing? Oh, it's been it's been it's been uh, really good. So I, for, I forgot to mention we also did youth festivals as well in uh, West Ham Park, Leighton, and, and and obviously the Redbridge grounds as well. And um, yeah, that the young people have really uh, taken it on board, especially those who just sort of seen t cricket on TV or seen their heritage playing or, or, or so. And they found it very easy to adapt because it's not wearing the helmets or the pads or, you know, they're just holding a bat and, and trying to swing for the ball. And it's just really good to see that it's, uh, it's re as I said, as Imran mentioned, it's really easy to set up in such a way of uh, activating. Again, you adapt to the facilities which are available as mentioned that if it's uh, like a, a smaller ground, but you want to get two games on at the same time, then you look at the, the, the stumps behind the boundary to sort of see, all right, that can just be one run. But our, what would be the best way of putting a tournament on is to maximize the space. And that's the way that we would do it. Um, yeah, so, and a lot of the players, I can say, for not just from the NCO point of view, from other leagues, Many tape ball cricketers have now started playing hardball cricket on a Sunday or during or midweek. Some have gone on to play club cricket on Saturday as well. So it just shows that the, the impact that tape ball cricket and the engagement that we've done has played in a, in a very positive way. Brilliant. And, and Sajid, what would be your sort of one or two top tips in terms of engaging tape ball cricket? So what was that? that sorry, Dan. What would be like your top tip in terms of getting people to engage with tape ball cricket? Um, as I said, uh, you, you can always get in contact with myself, Essex Cricket, uh, Imran, Sat uh, and, uh, and others. We, we, wanna, we want to really maximize this opportunity that any way we can look at connecting the game of cricket in any ways possible. We've done it, tape ball cricket has done it and hardball cricket have done it through working with charity events, 
family fun days, you know, very, uh, festivals. Uh, we even did um, the Women's International Women's Day. We did take ball indoors. So it just shows that the power of cricket in, you could say it's a street way or, a, you know, how in back home they call it gully cricket, which is obviously the, uh, the yard cricket, you could call it. Uh, the, 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 there's there's ways of you know how on the campaign that Essex cricket have done that, that what's your excuse cricket can be played anywhere, so it's just a way of how we can activate and maximise spaces getting a game of cricket on and it could be in various different formats. Number it could be a very short format, a very short aside game. It could be any way you can do it. It's very adaptable. Cool. And, and Imran, what would be your your top tip in terms of people like gays? We know it's popular in East London, but it's starting to spread now. We've got a group up in Colchester that have started playing now. Um, and I know certainly groups up in Peterborough and Luton play quite a lot of tape ball as well. So if, if people are seeing this as an opportunity, what would be your top tip, tip, tip in terms last, of how to, to spread it and, year, and get people playing? Last year, just before the, I think, uh, I think just before the, when the summer, summer was finishing, Irfan, uh, Irfan Bay called me and he said, like, we have a match with uh, Colchester. And I think it was a best of three. And he told me to take the best team from Essex, uh, tape, table players. And uh, I remember, I think it was, I believe it was Sunday, but I think there was a rain. So we have to cancel at the end, if you're aware of that. Yeah. And the plan, I, I've chosen the best players of London, Essex. And I know they, 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 can, they can play a really good game. And everybody was like keen to play. Like, you know, they was waiting for that moment. But unfortunately, there was a rain, so we couldn't go. And same thing, like um, uh, this year, if anything comes like that, I would like to go take take my team, like we represent Essex, and, um, and we play as Essex, like it's the Essex team basically, and Colchester, Peterborough, wherever, like Luton, uh, you suggest, we are happy to take it, we're happy to play. And I know now, like after a few years, again, credit to Sajid Bhai, because in four years, you know, like more than I can say, 300 players, more than 300 players I know in, in, in the past, like in, in past four years, who playing with us now and they know me. My, my name is Imran, what I do. And now, especially, uh, as I was mentioning about myself, uh, 16, 17 and 18. And last year, I started uh, playing league cricket as well, hardball. Like last year, I played hardball. And plus, uh, during the week, I was playing table. And same thing, my plan is now this year. Sunday hardball and rest of the days I will uh, I will play table and I will make now two teams, uh, hardball and tab uh, table, and hopefully next year my plan is to make two hardball team and one table team because my friends some of them they wanted to play table some they wanted to play hardball so I cannot refuse them I wanted to keep them together with the, the I have, we have a good binding with the friends and and one thing is table is very easy setup like rain won't affect that as long as like if you have a cement wicket. If it's rain stop, stay away. You can just you can start your game. There's no restrictions. Like just just carry on. Hardball is different, different game, you know. So only like if you you guys like can uh, provide like such as facility for the table. And as I can see in past four years, the the work you and Sajid Bhai has done it in past four years, cricket has gone to a different level. Table before even didn't know anybody. Like even my son, he is only six years old. And he's just crazy about the cricket. When I go home, he just gives me a ball and bat, daddy, come and play with me. Uh, because I don't want him to just playing games on the mobile. I think this is a good idea for the other kids as well. Because, and uh, I, I now wherever I go, I just take my son with me in the cricket ground. So at least he can throw ball. He can, he can look at it, what is happening around the rest than just uh, sitting at home, which is not good for the health as well. And his mental health as well. So I think physically activity is very necessary for the kids. And it's the future for the new generation, a table. So yeah. I don't know what can be done to organize such as like, as we just mentioned, Peterborough, Colchester, like there is more cities as well in, in, in the UK, you know, which, which, which can be fixture can be done and we can take over team Essex. Brilliant. Thank you, Imran. Um, Sadie, I have a couple of qu questions. Um, one being, someone's picked up on your four stumps. How did that come about? Oh, how did that come about? I saw the four stumps when I went on holiday to India, uh, seeing that table cricket was, is played with four stumps. 
they take away the equation of LBW. So obviously, you can imagine playing on a cement wicket and how fast a game table cricket is. For the umpires, it could be a nightmare to give left before wicket. So a lot of tournament organisers went with the four stump options for the bowler to aim at one more stump. And we utilised it to bring in it here. We utilised it on our T10 competition. And it's just, as I said, it's, again, it's what I said earlier, is adaptation to the game of cricket or any sport. We, we should always look to welcome and make it, you know, try and make it more enjoyable for the wide audience. And then one final um, question I had as well. Oh, one was around in around the kit. Someone said like tennis balls seem quite small. Can you get different size tennis balls to play with, or yes, it's just yes, a normal yes, tennis ball? Just like I, I just saw one message now because I don't know there's a text message available. But like uh, the balls from here, like the uh, like the sports shop uh, here, it's not the good quality balls. So uh, like I I get these balls like a CA. There's AS. Uh, we get it from back home. And these are like larger size. It's, it's uh, not big as like a hard ball, but similar to that. And it's, uh, it's like a strong ball, basically. It's not like very soft. And when you tape and then you hit like, you can see, I think you, you must have seen like few sixes, maybe I think uh, in, in Leighton Orient, he was witness and in, in Chemsford as well, I remember. You have seen like the boundaries, like in short format of cricket. In four hours, I think 50, like 50 is a good score. We think, but it's not. A second team can chase easily. Yeah, I remember. I remember at Leighton. I think we lost six balls over the roof of the main stand at Leighton. Yeah, you remember. Yeah. Even the, um, even the, the 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 pitch was not great. It was like a plastic, I think. Yeah, it was not great. But if 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 you have a cement, uh, if the bowler gets like two or three sixes an hour, he's very lucky, <laughs> because like five six or five or six sixes. Any bats, if a good batsman, he can hit easy. I'm a cement wicket. Brilliant, thank you, man. And then Sajid, just obviously this, things like this is really helping to raise profile and obviously we're all frustrated a little bit and still hoping for the, the positive move around the guidelines um, and moving forward. But as Imran says, it is, it's possible to play with small side, with like small small groups as well as within the guidelines. How, how do we um, positively move the, the awareness and profile of table cricket going forward? If you, you're quite good with your videos and your, your social media. What other things can we do to to make this sure this is a good news story going out around the, the community engaging in the game? I think it's obviously getting it around to the whole community, selling it in a different way. So how can communities sort of, so for example, depend on the level of audiences as well. So it could be an over 50s or women's and girls or, you know, that sort of thing where it's level playing field. We can look at that. Uh, we can look at ways of obviously young people, children, Getting into this, getting get, get into this format, get, you know, activating playgrounds in schools. That could be another thing to give that uh, sort of, uh, how can I say, the replication of the cement wicket of back home, because obviously concrete would be good to bounce on. There's various ways, and I said, it's all about activating and putting it together, making it fun and adaptable for everyone, uh, for you know, for the for the wider audience on connecting bat and ball to the game of cricket and. Table cricket does give, and as what Imran said, the balls, the, the, the tennis balls ha, are very important because they're a bit harder, they're a little bit bigger, they're sort of similar size to a uh, level 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 cricket ball, and it, it provides a similar feeling from the ball coming quicker. The ball, even if you if a batsman strikes the ball, it goes further as well. So it, that's what I mean by it. it sort of gives a replication to uh, uh, to uh, to the normal traditional side of the game. So yeah, it's definitely um, something which, as I said, it's, we, have a, we, have, we have found a way, uh, you know, in connecting this version and how we can connect it with the foundations that we've all, all put together in creating in the game of cricket. Well, thank you very much. And a huge thank you to Sajid and Imran for giving up their time to, to come and talk so passionately about table cricket. Uh, again, if you've got any questions or things to follow up after that, then please get in touch with your, your county reps. Um, around the region they'll be able to, to find out and get that information back to you but a huge thank you Sajid and Imran for your time um, yep. the next webinar is on Thursday with Phil Nappett and um, Claire from the ECB talk, just going over all the safeguarding to support a club um, and the county welfare officers and club welfare officers through the process so that'll be five o'clock on Thursday but thank you again for joining us and um, we'll catch up soon thank you thank you